Brandon, we'll put it into a gallery, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Gallery is owned by um, the Chilean Polo Group. It is one of their community initiatives in the city of Wilmington. So every month, um, sometimes two, so every it's designed for a local artist to be featured here once a month. Um, some artists feature twice for two months consecutively, pending their their exhibition. Um, it is at no cost of the artist to actually host their um, their exhibition. They do a closing and opening show. So it's usually first Friday and last Friday of the month, pending the schedule. Um, and first Fridays are hosted by Art Loop, which is also a woman in um, City of Wilmington Initiative. So our monthly artist is Gerardo. And he's going to tell you about his exhibition. It's recorded, so. Um, before we transition to Geraldo, um, we are in the theme of learning about different jobs in the art world. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about your job here at the gallery and how it came to be? And ignore the camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll that one. Um, so, oh, I didn't even actually say my name, which is very odd. So I'm Sarah Crawford. Um, I, my background is in fashion design and marketing. Um, I'm all over a creative. Um, so a few years ago, um, the gallery was under different leadership and I um, was asked to host a few events here and we hosted a few events throughout the year, probably like three or four and from there um, had a few conversations and um, with Chini and Poland they asked me if I would take over um, managing the space. They kind of shared with me what they wanted to do with the community, how they wanted it to kind of operate. Um, they said that they really liked what we were doing because we were trying to, it was like right at that cusp of when um, the pandemic was kind of opening back up, mm -hmm. so you know, that was a really weird time. And a lot of artists didn't have a space to work in them, and so um, it was kind of like pivotal that they kind of get some people in here and kind of get it moving. So that's pretty much what, you know, what I was asked to do. So I'm, I'm considered the manager curator of this space. And so I'm kind of always lurking around, um, kind of seeing what talent is out there, and you know, kind of tapping people to see if they're ready. Some people are scared, some mm -hmm. people are not ready. Um, and then, you know, just kind of being encouraging and showing them. He's been doing it a while, so mm -hmm. we need a lot of that support, but some other artists are kind of brand new and they're not really, they're not really sure of their talent yet. So this is a space for them to be able to kind of shine on their own. Love that. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Excited to know you, excited to connect. Um, we got a bunch of great artists here and including Geraldo, who yep. we'll hear from now and stay connected with Sarah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to my exhibition, everyone. This is my, uh, my, this is my 21st year anniversary as a photographer. Um, I have installed over almost 890 pictures had been installed since during, the, the, before the, uh, the, the first Friday. So as you can see the pictures that um, were, were hanging up, um, these two pictures right here, this is where I first taken photos back in April 2002. So this is the picture of the, uh, this where all the buses are being retired. So my, my chances are is I grab a camera, digital camera, and take these pictures of them before we have the, we have new buses already were on our street back in 2002. Um, this is me in 2003, a year later, this is a year anniversary, so I started continuing photograph. Um, let's see, uh, let's, let's go over here. So this, this, this section here, they're all four times six sizes, pictures. Not every picture is all public transit related, but it has different different parts of the events, the murals, the um, 
other places that the, the buildings that have been upgraded, some of the buildings have been upgraded for, for, for years now. Um, that over here, across over here, that used to be a parking lot, the Ducky Donuts on, on Orange Street, now it's, they turn it into a apartment complex in 2017. And this, this gallery right here used to be a, a, um, the hairstylist, and now they turn into a gallery in 2017. So, so back in our start, this is the. Um, let's see what else? Um, so this picture over here. This is where I had the first gallery in February of 2019. This is where I first started doing doing exhibition here. Uh, the reason why I picked this gallery is because. Um, when you do shows right here, people can, on a saw can be able to look through the windows. Some people can come in, stop by, and look at my artwork and ask questions and all that other stuff. Now, I've been doing photography all 21 years. When I started going back to it, I have people ask me, are you a photographer? Or, or sometimes people don't want their pictures taken. I completely get that. Um, not because you come to me in the, in the civil way, not being aggressive. I have yeah, people who came up to me in an aggressive way and tried to avoid it. Um, this one took, uh, this one taken in 2008. As you can see, this is the, uh, where the bus was completely repainted. When the new bus is right here, and then the old ones are painted up. So I got a chance to take a picture before they remove off the property. Interesting. So this is like a plain, no brand bus. Right. So I've never seen that. What they did was, every 12 years when new buses come in, they repaint it, mm -hmm. and they they send it to another garage facility. So so they use it for sell sell the auctions for another transit transit agencies to buy it. So this is a 1996 Gillick Phantom. That's the name of the model. It's an upstander bus. Right. When are they gonna do a new design? Um, the the, the <laughs> talk about this one. Uh, yeah. Are those the dark buses? Or yeah, those are dark buses. So they already they already at Portland, Maine. Yeah. It's called Metro. Yeah. They have a couple of buses were sold from here, and they used it to. Uh, they used it to repaint it, rebuild it, and put it back in service, and then they retired again 10 years later. Um, this is the new, this, well, it's not a new bus, but this is back in 2020. This is where the new bus is being delivered. Looks brand new. Yeah. So the, so the series is for the 500 series, so we got 501 and we got 502. Uh, the maintenance mechanics, they had to look to show the test them out, to show the tour about it and what to do with it. As you can see they have the new scheme, the new logo and the new because I like it I like it when they deliver, I like everything fresh. Mm -hmm. And over here we have a, a picture of a this electric bus. This is a Gillig, Gillig Advantage electric. So we have like 26, we, we have four of those, but we have 26 total of electric bus. We have four of them have recently delivered. That's new. Huh? That's new. This is 2021. Yeah, I remember those ones. Yeah. And that's what you took a picture of? Yeah. And uh, let's see. Uh, and this is my this is my my photography room studio. So as you can see, this is a uh, photograph of my artwork. This is where I have my camera and my artwork. So what I do is take a picture of it and take it to computer and to upload it to to crop it up into the image. Yeah, that's a cool shot. Thanks. Whoa. It's very meta because now I have it on my camera screen. Yeah. So if someone come take a picture right here. Wait, hang on, Geraldo. Let's pause for the meta of it all. Wait. Is that in focus? Yeah. 
Love it. Do you get it? Mm, I think so. Somewhere in there. We got it. What are you talking about? Oh, time out. Okay, time back in. Oh, yeah, yes, excellent. <laughs> time back in. Okay. All right, time back in. <laughs> excellent. Now, uh, let's see. This is uh, the one that's Photoshop. So this is me right here. And this is a password I pick up. So I take a picture of the bus with no, no driver's seat, no driver around. So I took a, my, um, what inspires me of this is that, that, that I want to put myself in the Photoshop. So if you look carefully right here. So this is me right here. Is that a Snapchat? Huh? Is it this on Snapchat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never seen a bus driver Snapchat <laughs> <laughs> thing, thing like that. I, I got two pictures. I got one cartoon and one original, so I yeah. crop it and put it right here. <laughs> what do you like about taking pictures? Um, I just like to Photoshop and edit it, stuff mm -hmm. like that, just, just to um, keep, it helps grow my, grow my mind up, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And you like walking around the city and capturing that? Yes, so something, something that inspires me, like something like, I, I like to do black and white pictures, especially during the cloud, yeah. during, during the, the cloudy, cloudy days, so mm -hmm. this is it all black and white pictures that you took. That's beautiful. Nice. And uh, let's see, uh, and over here. I like the fish eye, uh, fish eye pictures you have too. What's that? The fish eye pictures oh, that you have. right here? Yeah, they look so cool. Now, remember we talked about shutter speeds during class? Mm -hmm. So this is, this is where, this is the one I was telling you guys about. So I placed my camera in my tripod with a wide lens. The long exposure. So, so the uh, the bus is used to be 42, and this is the six bus goes by. So as you can see, the building is and the bus stays stays, and then the bus shuts. He's right here. So it, so this oh, picture yeah. was taken. I love that. So this picture is taken back in 2018. And do you remember where you were standing right when you took that picture? Uh, Rodney Square over at 10th and Market. Yep, amazing. And uh, not just this one, I also have a picture of this one right here as well. This one, and this one. This is the, uh, I've been through practice of uh, shutter speeds. Mm -hmm. So that one right here, that's in uh, Chesterton Station in Philly while I was waiting for my train to get back to Wilmington. And this one, this one is at the Wilmington New, this is a new Wilmington Transit Center. Right, the one near the Amtrak. Yep. Yeah. So this one's taken back in 2021, and this one's taken back in 2018. That one's really cool. Which one? I really like that one. Yeah, this, this one, this is, this is used to be the two. The two? Yeah. What route is that? Uh, route two. That's it. Um, oh. Coming back from the um, Brainwood Town Center. Okay. Does so, anyone have questions for Geraldo? Any questions? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so why buses? So I started. I, I, I first of all, I'm a a passenger. I, I when I was when I was a kid in the '90s, I started taking public transit with. Southeastern Pennsylvania trying to change the door to SEPTA. Um, a couple of things. One, it's very convenient. And number two, I don't have to, to have, I have a car, but I don't have to um, hassle during the rush hour traffic. Because sometimes people get cut in front of me and stuff like that. I try to avoid road rage and stuff like that. And also, taking public transit to help keep, keep, help me keep me, my mindset relaxed. Nice. Any other questions? Um, what's the one up there, like that little car? Oh, that car was built in 1950, so that been around. This is at the uh, the junkyard over. Oh. 
right over at Riverfront. I love Lois. I don't know. I like the colors in it. Yeah, so this picture was taken back in 2020, and it got removed a year later. So it, it, this one, it was cool. They, 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 it's cool to leave a display like that. So it got me a chance to take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. um, this one. A beautiful cascade. A domino effect. Yeah, yeah it kind of looks cool. on the job. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, this one right here. This is me. This is this is during this is during the uh, Hispanic festival. I wear a Puerto Rican pride because uh, in Puerto Rico we have three different cultures, one in Taino, Spanish and Africa. So we have mixed in us. So, and, and when America had not been recognized as Puerto Rico as part of the United States, and we as Puerto Ricans, we had to educate them and recognize them. Because we have, we have people out here, they say, oh, you don't look Puerto Rican, and, and this, that's just where the stereotype has come in. So what I did was, I, I, um, I put my work, put my artwork out here, put my culture out there, and try to show so everybody, this is the type of work I do. So, so uh, any questions about this one? I have a question about you being an artist, a professional artist. Yes. You're really, really good at marketing yourself and making sure that people know about you. So what is it like having a gallery and connecting with them? And how did you get people to know about this show? And what has it been like? Um, um, this, when you become an artist, you had to um, you had to meet people. You had to um, meet with the organization, organizations, and staff, and all the artists. You had to get connections with people. Not not separate. You had to come together with people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're really good at bringing people together. Yeah, and the reason why I picked this gallery because. Everybody, everybody can't, can't be able to see to look at my artwork. Mm -hmm. And last year, when I started doing art here, a lot of people, they walk by and knock on the window, they give me thumbs up, they really like my artwork. And I had a couple people come into the gallery, I saw a couple artwork here, it was, it was pretty good. Cool. It was pretty good and um, and I've had a couple people in the past, the, the ones that have given me a hard time, there's one person, one person who, 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 who did not write, did not know what I was doing and he found out I'm an artist. And he came up to me and said, I'm so sorry, I feel bad. It was, it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. Wow, the yeah. power of art. Yeah, so that's just one thing I like about this gallery. So yeah. if I can do it, many artists can do it so we can put their work together and show and, and get everybody to get to look at the art. So. This is this is a prime example of why I like this gallery. Nice, great, thank you. Well, do you have a name for this exhibition, or is like is it a specific? I mean, it's clearly about your life, you know. Yeah, it's like the whole thing. Yeah, uh, my 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 exhibition theme is the my twenty first year anniversary photographer. Nice. Story time. Okay. This is a story time. So yeah. this place just <laughs> seems like a celebration. So. Yeah. So, um, oh, I forgot. Um, this is, this is, if you can come closely. Come on. <laughs> so, this is, this is an artwork um, about the impact about the incident. So, on November 25th, after Thanksgiving of last year, so I got off the bus at, at, at on the 42 at the 896 Park Drive at Christian, um, Christian Road, Ch Chestnut Hill Road, excuse me. I walked all the way to, um, South College Avenue. So there was a driver on the 10, honked the horn and flipped me off for no apparent reason. And I waved back to him to give, kill him a kindness. 
So when I so what goes my back of my mind to think, oh, let's 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 make something creative. So as you can see, this is me having a camera out, and then you have the hand coming out and put. This is a new day to create, and this is me over here with the paint and add this rainbow, um, probably gold rainbow. This is be kind, and you see and you see the rainbow colors over here, and then you have the paint spilled to the to the street, and uh, the driver puts me off. Got this engine, not getting fired with this engine, but, but you're fired. And this is the hand of my artwork over here. This is at South College Avenue in North Delaware. So this artwork is complete on the, in December. And uh, this is where I post on Instagram to, to rope, uh, rope a, uh, an incident. Uh, my reaction is at Larry's. If you look carefully, what, what my reaction Come closer. <laughs> if you look, if you read right here, it tells you right over here. Yeah, it's Laughing emojis. Hilarious. You've always got such a good attitude, Geraldo. Yeah. So resilient. When somebody, when somebody does stuff like that, you just have to put it your art. You gotta put it in your mind and put it in your piece of paper mm -hmm. to put it on your artwork. And this is exactly this is the result right here. Beautiful. And uh, let's go, let's take you to the next spot over here. This is your no, this is. <laughs> These two canvases are size are 38 times 48 sizes. Wow. So those two been been, been painted for, for five days. Uh, this one took me five five or six days. As you can see over right here, this um, a, a artwork of a woman with a Mexican face face mask face mask um, painting, and this is the, the flowers over here. Now what I did was I took it took an extra time. It took like it took like it it was dry for the next couple of days. This is all acrylic. Hmm. And um and the, the shadows of her neck and the, the lips and the, the hairstyle and stuff like that. So this was done back in March before the exhibition in May. This one will be here, this is me. <laughs> so we, I went to the dream this the dream studio. Photography Dream Studio over at Market Street. Uh, my good friend did an excellent job taking a uh, headshot of me. Have my because I have my uh, my professor sweater and the and the, uh, the the tie the tie and then I have the Puerto Rican and American flag together. So uh, this one it took a very long time. So what I did was I had to paint in different layers and the hairstyle and stuff like that. So this was complete on April. Um, this one over here, this is the artwork of the subway lines, the, all the different transit agencies. You have the, uh, the DC, the New York, uh, Philadelphia, Las Vegas, and Trippy. Huh? So it's Trippy. Yeah, so this, this took, it took a very long time to do, to do one piece. So I put all the pictures together into, into one picture. And um, over here, like yeah, we were just talking about the perspective. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like the billboard too, where it's like the villain. Yeah, the villain. The guys taking the cars. <laughs> and this is another reason why I took I, I like public transit because the gas prices, especially gas prices, went through the roof. But now the gas prices going down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, the hero, that's a, the, the uh, public transit, if you take the subway. I know many of you guys don't like it. I know it, it, it's late, this, that. For me, I don't like, I don't like waiting to, like, I like to be on time. Mm -hmm. I know, I know we all have got places to go, so. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so, over here, um, I started doing boxing art in, in 2018, this is where I first started. Um, the reason why I started doing this is because I just want to do something different.
just give give it a rest of doing public transit art. Just want to do something uh, different. Uh, this is me to the left. I can, as you can see, the shadows over here. This is Paul Reeves over here, and over here, this is the um, the aftermath. To the next person in the ring, this is the uh, the person. This is me over here. So I've been doing this for 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 almost six years. Can can you do you have any questions about this piece? I love the caption there. What does it say? It's, uh, it says you're an idiot for flipping me off the other day. <laughs> so I just wrote that over here. Hey, cross re cross referencing oh, yep. this piece. <laughs> yep. See, we're curating. These pieces are talking to each other. Yep. So this is how... <gasps> the bus just passed right behind you. Yep. Took my breath away. <laughs> so these, this one took two days. This piece took for two days. And this one took about an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. Are they yeah. color pencils too? What's that? Are they color pencils? Both of them are. Yeah, both of them have color pencils. How did you draw yourself for that top one? Like, um, you take a picture of yourself? Yeah, take a picture of myself in the mirror. Yeah, did yes. you have the rope thing too, or you just like imagined it? I just imagined it. Yeah, wow. it's so good. Yes. I love your facial expression is really good too. Yeah, as you, <laughs> see, as you can see my hair, uh -huh. my hair is still wet, so my hair is like half down right here. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's just for the I used to have curly hair, but my hair, sometimes it's white, it goes. So this one, this one's complete in last year, mm -hmm. and this one's complete uh, this year as well. So nice. these two right here. Um, let's go over here. Uh, as you can see, Geraldo, we have three minutes left on the battery. Okay. So this one's one of my favorite one. So right here, this is where the person got fired. By this person, the person fired that person. The person got fired. This one, this one is turned red, and this one over here was pretty hostile. As you can see, that the colors has burst out. This was done in February of this year. This one over here, it, it I can't even stop looking at it. As you can see, <laughs> when you look in the phone, they've been brainwashed. This is the soap, and this is the brain that take it out, and then you. Wow. This is what it looks like. So, um, any questions about this piece for these two? So I'm noticing you always had that colorful sun, like the psychedelic color sun. What is, is that? Does that mean something? What's that? So this the psychedelic sun, like the colors behind it in the circle. Yeah. So this one over here, the person start hollering and screaming. That's what the the first. The first. It's supposed to be like energy, right? Yeah. Like the energy of it. Yeah. So. It's, does it mean that in all of the pieces, are you using for different stuff? Yes. So it's energy in all these pieces, that's what it's for? Correct. Well, yeah. Um, any questions about this piece here? It's just cool. It's cool. Like they're both really like, <laughs> I know, right? It's just like, <laughs> it's just like you like it, there's, not, there's no... They're just so different than your other works. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just different, you know, in yeah. a lot of ways. So it's, I don't know. It's cool seeing you do something that's like very much still you, but it's just a whole another little, you know, part of you. Yeah. You get to see that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And um last but not least, this piece right here. Wow. Can anybody see? Yeah. So um, this is me over here. And um, this is where the angle shot of the vehicle goes this way. Then you got the airplane over here, and this is the traffic. It goes all the way down over here to go up right here. You can see that's the rush hour traffic. This is the uh, the train, the not the train, uh, the the bridge. Ram goes that direction. The other truck goes that direction. Um, this was completed in February of this year. Did you also take a photo of the plane? How'd you draw the plane? No, I got the um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. I cropped it and, mm -hmm. and draw it. I give credit to one of my one of my photographers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you put different buses together in the same artwork, you still remember where each bus was when you took the original photo of it. Correct. Wow. Yeah. 
Can you tell us for this one? Um, this one, this one's taken in Los Los Santos Frisco. Not my picture, but somebody else's like this crop with their picture and give the they give the photographer a credit. Yep. So as a photographer, I give credit with one of my photographers. The, these two, these three over here, all four of my pictures I took, except the airport. Nice. So that's how that's how you, you put it together in the artwork.